Hi everyone, it's Dark Shadow Plays here. Back again with some more Rogue Genesia. Again, we're still playing the beta. I believe I'm on the latest version of this now. Uh, there's been no updates that I can see anyway. We're going to dive in today uh, and check this out. If you want to check out the game, of course, link will be down in the description. You can subscribe to the channel while you're down there. And we're going to play on Rogs mode this time. So we did Survivors mode last time. We got to, I think, about 15, 16 minutes, uh, which I think is a, a very good offer there. Uh, we've bought some more things in the Soul Shop since then. So we're on the uh, the next tier now. Uh, we've got a few different things with regards to banishes and rerolls and various other things as well. Uh, I want to be able to get to the next tier, hopefully very soon. We've got a little bit here, but I'm not going to do the rarity reroll just yet because we did that in the last episode. Um, we're going to go back and... We're going to play rogues mode we're going to do an e-rank world now this is very very difficult in terms of um standard kind of action roguelike stuff uh well on the e world anyway uh, f world i should say let's have a look at this map quickly uh so we've got a uh, chest up there that's fine an event there another event there i call them events they're not events they're exclamation mark things um that's fine there's a shop on that side and there's a shop there there there's quite a few shops actually uh, there's also the blacksmith over there as well. Blacksmith is reasonably new. I've not really played with it much. But we're going to go left, I think. Because that makes the most sense. So we get the choice of the chest or the other side. Some good items out. I am going to take the pike. So let's carry on here then. So pike is obviously a manually attack thing. It's not manual attack. It's manual aimed. Uh, it'll aim in the direction you're moving. Or if you move the right stick, it will move uh, and aim in that direction. Come on. Okay, so there we go. Now my only problem here is going to be... Ooh, do projectile size it's gonna be an interesting one i'll definitely take some projectile size i would have liked another version or another level of that let's take some more projectile size let's get heavier so heavier is there now something i can choose as an item to pick of course i want to be able to get some more weapons uh ooh, sharpening stone is quite good we'll take that that's just more base damage uh i'll take some slippery skin as well these guys are quite tough. Of course, we've only got one weapon at the moment, which attacks once, well, twice, technically. We're going to be able to get another level. There we go. Nearly. Uh, no other new weapons. We'll take Iron Will again. It's more health. More health you have, the better for later on, of course. Uh, I think I mentioned this on the last video of this as well, but there is, of course, uh, speedrunning in this as well. Um, the Discord has really picked up on that. Uh, I'll link again to the uh, official Discord for the game down below so you can see that yourself i'm not in a position to do speed running myself because i'm not playing it as often as those guys are but uh, uh there's a lot of good people in the discord who play this game a lot <laughs> like i play luck landlord a lot when it first came out uh these guys are mental oh sword around now i've played with this one before it's a sword which bounces oh uh, sorry pierces uh to uh enemies and it throws so we are going to take it uh more more projectiles is pretty much always good. I can't ever see a, uh, a time when it's not. We just need to survive. Okay, we did that first level. Um, I'm not too sure if there's any other XP on the floor anywhere. I don't think I left any down there, so that's fine. Let's get a card selection here. Uh, I mean, more Iron Will is fine. I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the event, I think. I call it an event. I oh, know it's not. Right. This is just to survive. So I don't know why this is just a question mark. I think it may just be a uh, like a blank space on a map that uh, he hasn't got an item for yet. I'm not too sure. I did wonder if it was maybe there was some um, loot on here or something that I don't see. I don't maybe we'll find out in a full version of the game. Of course, that's coming out in a few weeks. We are still on the beta. Sword Rang's okay. It does pierce through enemies, which is nice. It means I can get a little bit of survival with that because it will just smash them away a little bit as well. I like the fact it's piercing and knockback. Uh, I'll take some iron skin. It's not the best defense, but it's something. Definitely need more... Uh, more attack. That's the word I was looking for. Let's go on the outside of these guys. Hmm. Things are not dying very quickly, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, there we go. Everything died. We picked up all the XP as well. That's quite nice. Another card selection. Fractal. Now, I'm going to say this. 
probably the best card in the game that I've seen so far. So projectiles break down into three smaller projectiles. Bear in mind I've only got one projectile at the moment, which is my sword ring. We will see what this does. Uh, I'm going to go left again, because it gives me the option then to go forward onto another enemy. Right. So let's let this hit something. There we go. So at the first or the only level you get of it, it's not great. But when you get more projectiles coming out anyway, uh, Fractal goes a little bit mad. <laughs> I'd like to get some like Thunderstaff to go with this, because then it does go really mental. Um, I'll take some Iron Skin. I could have taken Regen, but we'll get that a little bit later, I think. When we get a higher level version of it. Okay, I'm not really, really not doing enough damage at the moment. Fractal was supposed to help. Hasn't really done too much for me just yet. Okay, we are containing things though, which is nice. We, I think my pike is actually splitting there as well. I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check with the Discord if it does split. I didn't think it did. And Thunderstaff right on cue. We will take you. Thank you very much. And there we go. That's what Thunderstaff does with the... Uh, Fractal. It's rather good. I'd like one more level before you finish this. Maybe not. No more XP anywhere that I can see. Okay. Let's go. Another Thunderstaff or Sharp Edge. I think I might take Sharp Edge just for a bit more base damage. Um, let's go... Doesn't matter which way I go here. We'll take this one. And let's start destroying stuff. Right, so this is a champion, or an elite. But as I'm not doing huge amounts of damage, it's not going to uh, it's not going to die very quickly. So we'll just uh, try and focus on it a little bit. Let Sword Dragon and everything else do the base enemies. Firing is very good. So, this isn't going to be affected by Fractal at all, but it deals AoE damage, so it's like a little circle around me. Uh, a bit like the, uh, the Death Aura that we had on, I think I had that in the last video. I may be wrong, but it does up my damage uh, quite a lot for these basic enemies. Very happy to have it. A few more levels of that, and I'll be ecstatic, actually. Uh, celerity is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take Celerity. Just means now that everything attacks that a little bit faster. Mushroom guys are quite tough. So you'll notice the pulse is coming out of me, or the explosions, that's my firing attacking. I definitely need some food, or some regen. Uh, another sword rang is good, we'll take that. I don't particularly want another iron wheel yet, just uh, I've got very little health as it is. I'll take another sword rang. Okay then. Alright, what you got for me here? Slay monsters, that's fine. And survive a certain amount of time. I've got no problem with that. Ignore that champion for the moment. Try and get myself a quick sneaky level in there somewhere. Alright, come on. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, ooh, ah, Turtle, another heroic card. So, uh, there's a card on it that says, or oh, an item on it that says Banish Clumsy. Clumsy is another card, which does something different to Turtle, obviously. Uh, but this is quite a nice card. It lowers my movement speed and my attack speed, but gives me massively increased health regeneration and defense. So I'm gonna take it. Health regen is something I do need anyway. So that is all fine. A couple of early heroic cards is very good could do now with increasing movement speed and stuff though of course to counteract some of the uh, detriments to this card but that's all fine not being able to kill much at the moment so oh heck uh, my health regen is not kicking in just yet We're almost there on the level there we go so health regen or straight defense that's a very nice uh, decent defense card as well so I'll take that
probably not going to kill the uh, champion on this one, I will say. I do feel a little underpowered, despite the fact that I've got Fractal and a couple of decent attack cards. If I had Crossbow, this would be all over. Crossbow is my favourite weapon. Okay, we did okay. Not great. We did okay. Love to have got another level there, but that's okay. Uh, firing again. We'll take a second level of that, I think. Yeah, up the base damage a bit. That's fine. Uh, let's go to the right this time. We've still got the option of going left to the champion. Or the elite, I should say. Not killing everything in one hit. That's a bit disconcerting. They're the basic enemies, <laughs> the uh, bats. Okay, more thunder staff, yes, please. Just gotta concentrate on surviving. Looking for food on the floor if you find it is always good. Doing all right. Health region is kicking in slowly. Nice. Uh, more sharp. Ooh, that steel skin is very nice. I'm going to take that. So base defense is fine. Um, it's not the best item in the game, but it is very good early on. We're still early enough for it to be important. Remember, this is uh, the harder version of Rogs mode. The hardest, there'll be a harder version of that, of course, in the full game. 14 more seconds, I suppose. One more quick level. Nope, not quite. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping. Okay, let's go. Celerity there is good, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take Celerity there for attack speed. I'm going to go left, because then I've still got the option of going left for the champion if I feel good enough. Uh, oh, it's a shop. Uh, so I've only got 2,396, which means I can't afford Light Hand, which is a very good card. Um, yes, I know it drops my damage multiplier to 80%, but it does increase my attack speed by a lot. And I can't get the Magnifying Crystal, which is fantastic. Uh, pork Statue, though, is good. So I'm going to take Pork Statue. And I'm going to take... Um, Take a card selection. Thunder Staff is perfect. Let's go. Don't trust myself on the champion side of things. So I'm going to go right. Okay, let's kill some bats. Um, I mean, straight in on slippery skin is good. Damage mitigation to 20%. Oh, got a second ring of uh, Thunder Staff there. I'll definitely take some of that. So I'll now start to see shooting on uh, the map, as you can see there. That is uh, off-screen enemies, or at least if, if I go towards them, they'll be on screen. So this guy here, for example, needs to kill him because he is shooting. And there'll be a few of those. Let's get that void. Another firing is good. Iron skin is also good. Mm. I think I'm going to take the firing there. Bow my way through things. Hopefully, do that a little bit more as well. Obviously, the mushrooms are a little bit tougher, so it's difficult to do it to those guys, but we should be able to get some enemies killed. I'm certainly not killing a massive amount here, which is another reason I didn't particularly want to go for the elite because I knew my time to kill at the moment is still quite high. You see, I'm not killing huge amounts of enemies if you look in the top left. I'm killing some, but it's not as many as I'd like. Healing there, it's not it's not the right healing for me. Um I will take firing again. Do more damage with it, that's fine. Certainly helping on the kill right now. My health regen is just about enough to keep going at the moment. Killed 10 enemies in a row there somehow. Um, that health factor is pretty good, so I will take that. So my health regen should stay on top of things. 
okay with this. Really want to be able to push this fractal out with the next upgrade. Get something decent for it. Because firing, of course, doesn't get affected by fractal, so it needs to be a projectile based weapon. Or food would also be good, because it increases my damage by 1%. All the bats there are getting killed. That's the end of stage 4. I was hoping to get one more level there. Right, uh, I mean, celerity there is fine. Four attacking is good. We'll go to the shop. Only 764 gold. We can get something. Um, nothing great, though. That's a shame I haven't got that. Adventurer's license is good. Um, Sacred Sword is also good. I've not taken it yet. I've only just seen it dropping in shops, and I never seem to have enough money for it. So, I think we'll just go for the healing. And let's go on. Another shop right in front of this one, but that's okay. Celerity on the cards here is better. Another well, pike would be good. That physically like doubles my de uh, attack on pike, so I'm happy with that. Nothing too difficult in my way at the moment. Mushrooms are annoying, but nothing else. Still doing enough damage, I suppose. Or well, enough regen, I should say. Damage is still a little bit poor, but we'll get there. Skeletons are going to be very tough. They do take a lot of damage. Okay, more pike. Take. I'm starting to chip away at the old uh, elites there. This is the weakest one, of course. That's okay. We're not doing too much damage to him, to be fair. Possibly one of my weakest runs to get this far, actually. Despite the fact we are fractal, I'm quite surprised. Come on. What else is it? Dip out of that circle of death there. Come on, there we go, right. I mean, 30%... Oh, no, healing factor. No, damage. Got to be more positive and proactive on healing damage. Okay. Let's see. Fire Spirit ignites enemies on hits and deals 25% of your damage. Damage can be stacked. Yes, please. I'm taking that one. I've not seen that one before. Now, right, let's go to the shop and get nothing because I can't afford anything. I can heal. I can get heal. <laughs> All right, we'll take heal. I'm going to ignore the fact that Gilgamesh is ring there, which is a great item. Um, the card selection penetration okay that is actually quite good with um, most things of course the only thing I've got that's got actual like projectiles on it is my sword ring but I'm not going to turn it down just in case I get something like crossbow on the next level nothing I really want there I'm going to take iron will and regen the heck out of my health okay so we've got a card selection we've got another fire ring there we'll take that and then Hermes Hoods, movement speed also increases attack speed. So I need to make myself faster. Again, I'm not going to go for that because I want to go for the blacksmith over there. Uh, let's go healing factor. That's fine. I want to be able to build my health back up. Heck, straight away surrounded. This level is going to be tough. Wow, this level is not messing around. Okay, uh, area would be good for the firing, but I'm going to take Sword Rain. Again, it's not my favourite item in the world, but it's, it's halfway decent. It will certainly help me. My regen is uh, being really pressed now. Stone-handed. Wow, three additional projectiles. This is a brand new thing for me. I am taking that. The Thunderstaff would be nice, but I've got to take that. My attack speed's gone way down, but so many more projectiles means I should be doing a lot more damage now. Which it looks like I am. Um, so, there's Crossbow. We don't dismiss that either. That's a fantastic item. Level 1 of it is pretty poor. 
Um, but when it's got additional projectiles, it should be fairly good. And Fractal will then obviously make that even better. Yeah, the kill right now is going massively up. Let's have some more penetration as well, because that will affect crossbow. Go on and give me another quick level. I will... Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to take max health there just to try and out-heal everything or out-last uh, everything as a tank. We've all got to be careful. Let me boost out here. Run away for a second. Try and just live. Not seeing any health or food. This is tough. There was some food, which was good. Sound like a food critic. <laughs> okay, everything's died. Um, slippery skin is good. Got a void there as well, which is very nice. Let's take some more gold and card selection. Crossbow again is, yeah, we want to be taking that cards now. Uh, let's go see what the blacksmith's got for me. So, uh, nothing that I can afford. I can buy, uh, I can re roll the blacksmith. Um, I'm going to go for a card selection. Yeah, we've got some okay stuff there. The pike wouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's, let's level them out. Let's go next stage. This is the boss. I'm going to take a second here because uh, I'm going to say goodbye before this <laughs> boss, I think, because this is going to absolutely destroy me. Um, so, yeah, we've got three champions that we need to face. I'm not very good at killing champions at the moment. The amount of particles and things from the uh, Thunderstaff is fantastic, though. If I can kill these three champions, I'll, be, I'll count this as a relative success. Um, I just haven't had any damage ups at all, which makes this so incredibly hard. Only damage ups I've had, if I go into my stats quickly, uh, my damage multiplier is 116 and my attack speed is low. So it's not great, I'm going to be honest. Um, looking at the soul cards though, I do have stone handed, which should give me uh, three additional projectiles. Doesn't seem to have done, but I mean, maybe. Maybe I'm misreading it. There we go. Right. God's Wrath. We've finally got a damage multiplier. Just got to stay alive long enough to try and get another one, maybe. Okay. So far, so good. Health region should slowly kick in. Kill the skeleton. And it's down to the mushroom. One more level though. Always happy with that. Right. Light is not bad. 125% projectile speed or movement speed. Movement speed increases my attack speed, so I'm going to take that. And it means I could dodge more. Very happy with that side of things. Okay. Mushroom is about to die, which means you're getting boss. And boss is going to be tough. So this boss is a little bit annoying, because he does one projectile attack like that, and then he just pushes you around. Like a bully. It also makes it very difficult to A, me to hit him. I'd say avoid, thank you. Uh, and B, him to... Well, sorry, me to heal. heal. So I'm going to die. Right now. Okay. I still haven't finished E-World yet, or E-Rank, uh, on Rog's World. That's fine. I did okay. I was hoping the Fractal would have been a lot better for me than it was. I was hoping it was going to be, like, not massively OP, but decently OP. Uh, and I think we struggled there with just no damage multipliers until the last, very last boss. So, yeah. Um, not great. I'd like a way in this screen, by the way, if the developer ever watches this. He probably won't. But if he does, to see... Uh, all the cards that I had, not just the damage summary. Just give me a button that allow me to see all my inventory and things. Right, let's go back to the main menu. 
and I think we'll say goodbye there. I'll go into the shop myself and I'll spend some stuff so we can actually get some upgrades and things. But this is Rogue Genesia, it's the beta version. If you want to see some more of this, uh, you can click the link down below so you can actually uh, wishlist this yourself. It's not out yet to buy. You can still download the demo as far as I'm aware, and it'll probably be uh, still available on the demo side of things until the game is fully released. Other than that, subscribe to my channel. I'm Dr. The Plays. This has been Rogue Genesia, uh, trying to do the E-World, and I'll see you for another episode or something else very soon.